Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting rational equation problem. I will demonstrate three methods to solve this problem. Two using algebra and third one would be using complex numbers. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. So denominator cannot be zero. X square plus X cannot be equal to zero. Once I will take X common, I will be having X times X plus one non-zero. So from here we can conclude neither x is equal to 0 nor it would be minus 1 restricted list of x. Now I will write method number 1. I will make our denominator common. So this term second term I will multiply numerator denominator with x square plus x. So I will write here x square plus x also. Now our denominator will be x square plus x whole square. And if you will check your numerator, then 5x plus 16 plus 3x square plus 3x equal to negative 1. Now if I will sum up my numerator 3x square plus 8x, so let me write 3x square plus 8x plus 16 equal to minus x square plus x whole square cross multiplication. Now I can write our equation to the LHS, all the terms to one side only. So I can write 3x square plus 8x plus 16 plus x square plus x whole square. So let me write x power 4 a plus b whole square b square plus 2ab. So that is 2x cube equal to 0. Once I will sum up, I will write x power 4 then 2x cube only single time it is there then x square term is there so i will write 4x square then x term so i will write 8x and then constant term that is 16. now you can check this is one quartic equation x power 4 plus 2x cube plus 4x square plus 8x plus 16. now i will consider the algebraic method I will consider the three terms, this term, this term and this term to one side. So I will write x power 4 plus 4x square plus 16 and whatever is left that I will write to the right hand side minus 2x cube minus 8x. Now you can see I will do one algebraic manipulation. I will add both sides 4x square. So left hand side is now x power 4 plus 8x square plus 16 or 4 square. So I can write my LHS as x square plus 4 whole square. Now see the RHS what will happen to there. So I will consider 4x square as it is. Now from the remaining term I will consider minus 2x common. So I can write in bracket I can write x square plus 4. Now this equation is there x square plus 4 whole square equal to 4x square minus 2x times x square plus 4. Now I will do one manipulation. Let me write here x square plus 4 whole square is equal to 4x square minus 2x x square plus 4. Now divide this equation with x square plus 4. See what will happen. I will divide x square plus 4. x square plus 4. Whole square. It is whole square. Not x square plus 4. And x square plus 4 whole square. See left hand side will be 1. Done. What about right hand side? I will write it is 2x over x square plus 4 whole square. Just check this out. 2x whole square is 4x square. Denominator is x square plus 4 whole square. Minus this term and power will be cancelled out. So I will write over there 2x over x square plus 4. Now you can understand easily what I will do now. I will presume one bracket. So I will write here let 2x over x square plus 4 equal to suppose a. So this is 1 equal to a square minus a or 
a square minus a minus 1 equal to 0. Now let us apply quadratic formula, Shridharachar formula minus b, 1 plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So it is minus b, so 1 plus minus a square root 5 over 2. Done. Let's put back the value of a. A was our substitution. It was 2x over x square plus 4. So 2x over x square plus 4 equal to 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2. Now I will do rationalization here. Once I will consider rationalization here, I will multiply numerator denominator with 1 minus root 5 minus and plus. Once it is plus then I will consider minus and denominator I will write 1 minus plus root 5. Okay. Now you can see what we will get minus 4 in the numerator a square minus b square. So 1 minus root 5 whole square 5. So minus 4 and denominator will be 2 times 1 plus minus or minus plus whatever you want. You can write over there. Now you can see this term we will cancel out. 2. Now this 2 and 2 will be over 2. So what I can write, right hand side would be minus, this minus if I will converting into plus 1, then I can write minus plus minus root 5. Okay, now let us solve this x over x square plus 4 equal to 1 over, let me write here, minus 1 plus minus root 5 x over x square plus 4. See, x square plus 4 is equal to x times minus 1 plus minus root 5. Take all the term to LHS. x square minus x minus 1 plus minus root 5 plus 4. Because of this is irrational, it is looking, again it is quadratic equation. So, we will apply Sridharachar formula. Once you will apply, let me write direct result. You will get, I will write here my answer. That is minus 1 plus minus square root 5 plus minus i times under the root 10 plus minus 2 root 5 over 2. Here we are having four complex solutions no real solution only four complex solution now i will consider method number two again using algebra c equation was x power 4 plus 2x cube plus 4x square plus 8x plus 16 so reciprocal equation we can frame because x is not solution of this equation. So I can divide this equation with x square. So let's divide with x square this equation. So I will write x square plus 2x plus 4 divide by x square plus 8 over x plus 16 over x square equal to 0. From first and last term, I will write x square plus 16 over x square. Second and second last term, after taking two common, x plus 4 over x and pi word term is 4. Central term, middle term is 4. Now you can see, if I will give substitution to this, x plus 4 over x is equal to t. Let me call this is t. So if x plus 4 over x is t, take whole square both sides. So x square plus 16 over x square plus 2ab, xx will be over 8 equal to t square. So x square plus 16 over x square will be t square minus 8. So in this place I will write t square minus 8. Okay, let's put the value and solve the quadratic. So our quadratic equation will become t square minus 8. That was our square term, square reciprocal term. And see, it was our substitution. x plus 1 over x is equal to t plus 4. It was our pivot or middle term. So once I will simplify, 
I will write my quadratic equation as t square plus 2t minus 4 is equal to 0. Minus 8 plus 4 is minus 4. Once you will solve, see, let me write here t is equal to minus b, apply Shridharachara formula, plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So I will write minus 2, this is square root 20, so 2 root 5. I will write 2 root 5 over 2 divide by 2. So I will write minus 1 plus minus root 5. And t was our substitution. If you remember, that was x plus 1 over x. Let me write here equal to minus 1 plus minus root 5. Multiply this equation with x. So x is square plus 1 is equal to minus 1 plus minus root 5 times x. Take all the term to LHS. I will write x square minus x times minus 1 plus minus root 5 plus 1 equal to 0. This is same equation as we got in the method number 1. So you will get the same result. So that result will come out same. Now method number 3 that is using complex number. So I will consider our original equation first x power 4 plus 2x cube plus 4x square plus 8x plus 16 equal to 0. I will divide this equation with 16. See what will happen. Let me divide by 16, by 16, by 16, by 16, by 16. So I can write it is x over 2 whole power 4. Second term I can see once I will cancel 2 and 16 then I will have 8 in the denominator. So I can write x over 2 whole cube. Third term you will get 4 in the denominator. Sorry plus sign it is x over 2 whole square. This term you will write x over 2 and last term you will write 1. Now you can understand either you can multiply by that method or you can use the GP, finite GP summation formula. So before that we have to presume one substitution x plus 2 is equal to something, some variable. So let us consider that variable is a. So I will consider here let x over 2 equal to a. So our equation will become a power 4 plus a cube plus a square plus a plus 1 equal to 0. In this way if I will write 1 plus a plus a square plus a cube plus a 4 equal to 0. Let's apply GP formula. GP finite term formula. Finite sum. A 1 minus r raised to the power n total number of terms over 1 minus r where mod r less than 1. So let us apply. The first term is a. So I will write 1. In bracket I will write common ratio. So a square over a or a cube over a or a over 1 or a 4 over a 3. That is a. So common ratio is a. Number of terms you can see 1 is constant. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1 minus a. Okay. And right hand side is 0. Remember a cannot be equal to 1. Denominator cannot be 0. So a cannot be equal to 1. So I will consider 1 minus a raised to the power 5 equal to 0 or a power 5 is equal to 1. Now it is question of fifth root of unity. So this is similarly what we have done in the cube root of unity. Let us find out using Euler's formula. So I will write a power 5 is equal to 1. This 1 I can consider e raised to the power i 2 pi done for principal solution only. Once it is required to write general solution, I need to consider 2k pi addition over there. And where k belongs to integer and let me write here because of we are finding fifth root. So k will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now I will take e raised to the power 
i 2 pi is common so i can write in the bracket k plus 1 now it is a power 5 so i will write a only consider fifth root both sides so e raised to the power i 2 pi over 5 times k plus 1 now simply we have to put the value of k 0 1 2 3 4 and i will get my answers directly using complex number so let me put k equal to 0 so i will write a 0 that would be equal to e raised to the power i 2 pi over 5 k1 i will write k1 then i will write e raised to the power i 4 pi over 5 k2 i will write e raised to the power i 6 pi over 5 k3 i will write e raised to the power i 8 pi over 5 and last value once i will put a equal to k equal to 4 i will write my e4 i 10 pi over 5 so i 2 pi and this value will be 1 and this is rejected value okay so we will reject this solution don't focus here so there are four solutions of our equation a0 to a4 okay if i will find out these values see from first to if i will write my value directly then 0 0.309 plus minus second value is with minus sign first value a0 is with plus sign so i will write i times 0 0.95 similarly these two if you will write then i will write minus 0 0.809 plus minus i times 0 0.587 and remember our substitution that will play one role because we substituted x over 2 equal to a so our x value will be let me write here x value directly x will be twice of a so 2 times this complex solution 309 plus minus i times 0 0.95 two solutions here now i will write two solutions from here 2 times minus 0 0.809 plus minus i times 0 0.587. So there are three different methods. Using complex number it is quite easier. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye friends till next video. Take care. Good luck.